Hello everyone, I'm back here with another update for the Cycles uh, Renderer plugin for 3ds Max. Today I will be focusing on the Cycles Shader Graph uh, material type, which is will be added in the next uh, next release version of this plugin, which will be coming later this month. Um, and this is this largely focuses on the on the node editor that I made a previous video on. This is just showing it a little uh, a little fancier graphs with node graphs and a, a little more better integrated with Max here, whereas before it was just a standalone application. Uh, so what I can show you here is the node editor. I pull up this Cycles shader graph and then I can open it up. Uh, and what we have here is a real simple node editor that lets you just drag out nodes to make your Cycles graph. So I'll make a simple one first, just to diffuse and we'll color it with this Voronoi texture. Turn the scale down so we can make up some, some details on it. And there it is. There is a diffuse material. Uh, being with its color being decided by that Voronoi texture. Uh, but that's a kind of simple, boring example, so what I can do here is pull out another shader and load up one I've already made that kind of has a bunch of nodes in it. Uh, so here we go. Oops. And this graph is essentially made of three three shader modes, three shader nodes, uh, some texture nodes, and some mix nodes. So I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through it here just to show what's going on. We have these two diffuse nodes first down here, a, a white one and a blue one. And we are mixing these together using a Fresnel factor. So what this looks like when I render it, uh, because there are no text maps plugged in, it'll look like this now with just those bottom nodes. It's uh, white when you look straight at it, and at more grazing angles it turns into uh, blue. So uh, what else I got in here is this velvet node. And this is being this has its color decided by a max text map, and this mix shader is also being driven by a max text map, and it will mix between this velvet and this uh, blue-white diffuse thing going on down here. So what I can do to show that off, I'll save it. I can plug this checker texture into slot 1, and then we'll see the white parts still uh, use this blue-white uh, diffuse material, but the the black parts of the checker texture map to this velvet material. Uh, but it's still a white, even though even though we have a, a text map plugged in here, it's still a, just a white velvet because there's no there's nothing plugged into that text map slot. So what I can do is just grab a shape map or any other text map and plug it in there, and then that will color uh, will color the velvet. So what this lets you do is that uh, you can have more fancier shader graphs that wouldn't be possible using these old uh, all these other nodes I put together. They're still these are still good for putting uh, putting simple shaders together, but things like uh, things like Fresnel and things like some more vector nodes and math nodes will be coming. And those those are things that just weren't weren't possible to really do in the Max Node Editor, so I thought it would be best to make a new one uh, where you can do do those things and get at the full the full power of cycles there. Um, so I don't really have much else for this video. Um, just wanted to just wanted to show off this integrating with Max, working with Max text maps, um, and it should be coming soon to the plugin. So uh, thank you everyone for watching.